Hey everyone, it's Shannon Rose with Topaz Labs here with another top tip in Topaz Studio. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over HSL color tuning. This is an amazing tool and one of my absolute favorites. HSL color tuning allows users to manipulate and completely control the hue, saturation, and lightness of images. It gives you control over the full color spectrum, which it seems other programs struggle with. If you want a rose to be green instead of red, no problem. You want eyes to be blue instead of brown, do it. For this tutorial though, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to use three HSL color tuning adjustments using masks and blending modes to control each adjustment and the way it's applied to our photo. Let's go ahead and get started so I can show you what I mean. Today's photo is a girl with striking green eyes with dandelions laying all around her. I love how the green in the stems play off the green in her eyes. I want to exaggerate her eyes, add an extra pop of green, and desaturate her skin color a bit to help the green pop. In the first adjustment, we're going to add a mask so only the eyes are affected. Edit the green, aqua, and the overall color of the adjustment. So go to Adjustments and select HSL Color Tuning, then go immediately into the mask which is the white square next to the adjustment name, invert the mask and select a white brush to make sure you mask in the eyes so they are the only objects affected in this layer. Now let's go in and edit the colors. The green section, the saturation is 0.43 and lightness 0.29. In the aqua section, the saturation is 0.36 and the lightness is 0.29. 34. In the blue section, the saturation is 0.28 and the lightness is 0.19. In the overall section, the saturation is 0.14 and the lightness is 0.08. This allows the eyes to pop like crazy, exaggerating the green and making them look deep and almost mythical. Definitely much more mesmerizing than the previous photo. Her eyes demanded so much attention, and now they got it. They really draw your eyes into the photo. Next, go to the Adjustments and select HSL Color Tuning for the second adjustment. Now, I want an extra accent of green in this photo, so we're going to change her lips from red to green. To do this, we're going to go into the mask again, invert it, and select a white brush. This time, we're going to mask in the lips, so they are the only items affected in this adjustment. After painting the lips with a white brush, we're going to edit the red color and the overall color to get the green where we want it. So the red section, we need the red hue to be negative 0.35, red saturation 0.22, and the red lightness to be 0.24. In the overall section, the overall hue needs to be 0.78 and the overall saturation needs to be 0.11. Then we're going to change the opacity to 0.54 and the blend mode to color. This allows the color to lay more naturally and adapt to the highlights and shadows of the image. As you can see, this adjustment completely changed the color of her lips from red to deep green without any artifacts or discoloration. It's very clean and natural looking. Now for the very last adjustment. Go to Adjustments and select HSL Color Tuning. Next, we're going to edit the mask. So click on the mask to activate it. But this time, we're going to leave it as is and mask out her eyes and lips, which means we're going to use a black brush on a white mask. This ensures that those areas are not affected by the adjustment we're about to apply. This time, though, we'll be editing the colors yellow, green, and the overall color. Yellow section is yellow saturation is 0.43. The yellow lightness is 0.38. In the green section, the green saturation is 0.35, the green lightness is 0.46. The overall section, overall saturation is negative 0.46. This adjustment lightens up the rest of the photo and makes her skin milky and soft, allowing the green details to steal the show and be the focal point they were meant to be. 
Well, that's it for this week's top tip. Join me next time to see what you can learn.